Hello, welcome to Flower Pot Mosaic Studio. My name is Anne Tyson and today I'm going to show you how to grout a garden pot. It will be the same procedure for whatever you grout, but today I've got one ready to go, so I thought I'd grout this. Uh, grouting can be quite daunting, can be, you can be quite nervous if you've never done it before, but the aim of this video is to show you how simple it is and don't worry about it, take your time. Um, so I'm going to start at First thing I'm going to mention is uh, health and safety. When you're mixing your grout, um, put a mask on and let's face it, we've all got lots of those in our cupboards. And um, be careful when you are touching your mosaic piece, you are using ceramics and glass. So it does mean there can be a little bit sticking out, which could you could cut yourself. So make sure you've got some nice thick gloves on. So before you start, the first thing you do is you check your mosaic. So you will go along to it, make sure with your gloves on that there aren't any little pieces that maybe are going to fall off. So just sort of tap it quite lightly. Um, obviously, if you've got something flat, it'll be flat down here. Just tap it, just make sure that nothing is going to fall off. So we're all ready to go. I'm quite confident that everything's stuck on. It doesn't mean to say that something won't drop off during grouting. It happens to us all, and I will show you what to do if that happens. So I've pre-mixed the grout just to save a bit of time. When you mix it, you want it like a cake batter. So it's not runny and it's not too thick. And again, I mixed it, um, I put a mask on and I mixed it up. And I use these lovely little rubber dishes that when it's dry, it, they just sort of fall out into the bin. But you use a yogurt pot or whatever you've got that you want to throw away afterwards. And today I'm using a charcoal grey grout. Um, so I've got my pot. It's easier, I feel, if you pick up your pots and just pop it on your arm uh, rather than try and do it when it's on the table. So I'm literally now going to get the grout and smother the pot with the grout. When I mix the grout up, I didn't leave it for five minutes. I literally started straight away. If you've mixed your grout up and you feel it's too runny, then just leave it for five minutes and I guarantee it will thicken up. But don't go away and leave it for 20 minutes because what will happen is you'll get back and it will be really going stiff and hard and you'll be really struggling to get your grout off. So all I've used at the moment is some rubber gloves and a pot. The only other things you're going to need is a bucket of water and a sponge. And the bigger the sponge, the better. So what you can see me doing here, I'm literally very gently just rubbing the grout in all over, making sure it goes all in the crevices. I'm not worried at this stage about grout getting on the bottom and any grout getting on the top because it all will come off when I get the grout off. So I'm going all the way around. I haven't got much to go now. So you can obviously sit down on a chair, put some newspapers on your lap or some old tea towels so it doesn't go on your clothes if you feel that it might be too heavy on your arm. So I'm just again rubbing it in nice and gently. Now at this stage if something has fallen off and like I said before it happens to us all it's nothing you've done wrong it's just you're introducing a liquid now so anything that might have been a bit vulnerable will drop off so if it's fallen off, just carry on regardless. Just keep going. Don't try and fix it at this stage. Just carry on. Okay, so I am happy that I have covered it all up. Uh, make sure the edge here is completely covered in grout. That's really important. And also, if you have a flat piece, you want to make sure all the edges have got grout in because if it's going outside, that's where the rain's gonna try and get inside. So that's really important. So now I have got my bucket of water and I've got a sponge. Okay, that is it really, that's all you need. So what I'm gonna do now, again, I'm not gonna wait at this stage. I am literally gonna carry straight on. I'm not gonna go off and have a cup of tea and leave my pot because it will go really hard the grout and you won't get it off. 
So the most important thing is, when you're wringing out your sponge, try and wring out as much water as you can. So it's just damp. And then you literally just wipe. And by having a big sponge, you can turn it over a few times. And I'm just wiping it off. bit messy this so all the way around get off the excess and you literally just keep going like this until you've got nearly all of it off can see now the grout miraculously comes off where you don't want it to just wipe the bottom just, just sort of wipe the edge so you've got a nice neat edge just keep working your way around take your time Again, don't worry about what's happening inside the pot. If you've got any grout inside, that you can get that off. That's the last thing you'll do. So as you can see now, I'm going around my pot and I've got most of it off. Just a bit left on the top of the tiles. So I might just give it one last. You can see the water's quite mucky now. It doesn't matter. If I had about 10 pots, I'd still use the same bucket of water. I wouldn't keep changing the water. A complete waste of time really. So you can see now anything that hasn't come off. I use adhesive on this pot so there might be a bit of adhesive left just on the top of the tiles. I can scrape that off afterwards. If you've used PVA glue you might get a little bit of PVA glue still on the top of the tiles. Again when it's dry that'll just peel off. So now what I'm doing I'm just literally making sure the bottom even though we never see the bottom, you still don't want clumps of grout because when it dries, it'll dry like a little stone on the bottom. You don't really want that. And I'm just now going around the edge and then I'll do it one more time. I will just go inside and just make sure there's no clumps of grout still left inside. You could cover your um, the top of your pot with newspaper but the problem with that is you've got to take the newspaper off to get this night, nice and neat edge. So then you might end up just getting it mucky anyway. So I actually don't bother with, uh, with that. Because terracotta pots clean off very nicely. And if you do get a little bit of dark grout in the top of the terracotta pot, I actually quite like that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So I don't really worry about it too much. So all the grout is off the top now now what i've experienced and i've grouted hundreds of things when you use a dark grout it's very rare you get to see any air bubbles in the grout and what i mean by that is sometimes you can get little holes that appear inside when i'm using white grout or really pale gray there's obviously a chemical reaction uh, because of the color you do tend to get tiny little air holes appear and then all you would do is you would just get a little bit of grout and you just rub it in again like so and then just sponge it off like that so what i'm going to do now with this is just leave it and in about an hour an hour and a half what will happen is it'll start getting a little film of dust all over it and then you just get a wet cloth wipe it all off if there's any bits of adhesive still left on the top get it all off and then get an old uh, dry cloth and just polish it all up especially if you've got a bit of mirror you want to polish that so that is simply it now there's a couple of things i want to mention if something had fallen off like if a tile like that had fallen off what i would do now is i would scrape all the grout out and then when it's all completely dry i would just glue that piece in and then using just a little bit of 
grout, mix it up and then just use your finger and repair it. If it's a tiny little piece that you don't even notice, don't worry about it. And the other thing I would like to mention is people ask me, what do we do with the grout water? So you can either leave your bucket of water for two days and what will happen is the grout will sink to the bottom and you will be left with clear water which you can put down your drain. It'll just be clear water and then you can scrape the grout out, put it in newspaper and pop it in your bin. Otherwise, if you have a large garden and you've got a big bush somewhere in the corner, you can just throw it behind the bush um, and it won't damage, so it won't damage anything. Um, so that's it really. So I would just like to um, come along over. I'll show you where my uh, mosaic workshop is while we're here. It's just over here. This is where I hold my workshop. So like I said before, don't worry about the grouting process. It's quite simple. Uh, you don't need any fancy equipment, buckets, a sponge, some gloves, heavy duty gloves, and take your time over it. If you have any questions or you've made a mistake or any concerns, then don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, it's it's uh, www.flowerpotmosaics.co.uk. Um, I'll put the phone number on at the end. Uh, just get in touch and uh, I'll answer any questions you have. Or if you think uh, any, more, any tips that I could make uh, grouting easier, again, please get in touch. And thank you for watching. Bye.